The moon hung low in the sky, casting elongated shadows across the ancient gravestones. Sloane, her raven hair tangled and wild, stood at the cemetery's edge. Her eyes, as dark as the abyss, scanned the moon-kissed landscape. She wore a leather jacket adorned with silver studs, a relic from her days as a rogue assassin. Her stance was confident, and her body language suggested a readiness for the game about to unfold. Rowan emerged from the shadows, his presence as enigmatic as night. His black cat Lucifer slinked alongside him, eyes glowing with an otherworldly intensity. Rowan's fingers traced the hilt of his dagger, a weapon forged in hellfire. He was the Butcher, feared by both criminals and law enforcement alike. Ready for our annual game, Sloane? Rowan's voice held a dangerous allure. Tonight we hunt the hunter. Sloane smirked, her lips stained crimson. And what prize awaits the victor? Rowan stepped closer, their breaths mingling in the chilled air. A kiss, he whispered, his eyes locking onto hers. Or death. Their hunt led them to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of Boston. The scent of decay hung heavy in the air. Rowan kicked open the rusted door, revealing a dimly lit chamber. Bloodstains marred the concrete floor, evidence of past battles. Their target, a serial killer known as the Crimson Rose, stood in the center, a bouquet of blood-soaked roses clutched in one hand. His eyes widened as Sloane and Rowan approached, twin predators closing in. You're too late, the Crimson Rose sneered. My masterpiece is complete. Rowan lunged, blade flashing. Sloane danced around the killer, her movements fluid and lethal. The room echoed with the clash of steel, the scent of iron thickening the air. The Crimson Rose fought back, but he was no match for their synchronized brutality. As Rowan pinned the killer to the ground, Sloane whispered, Death awaits you, but not before you answer one question. Why do you kill? The Crimson Rose laughed, blood dribbling from his lips. For love, he gasped. Love that consumes. After the adrenaline-fueled battle, Sloane and Rowan retreated to a moonlit rooftop. The city sprawled below, its heartbeat echoing through the concrete canyons. Rowan's fingers traced the jagged scar on Sloane's cheek. We're monsters, you know. She leaned into his touch. Monsters who found solace in each other. Rowan's confession hung heavy in the air. I killed my first victim at 16. She was a monster too, a child predator. But it changed me. Sloane's eyes softened. And Lucifer. He's more than a cat, Rowan said. He's my tether to humanity. Sloan cupped Rowan's face. We're two halves of a fractured whole. He kissed her, lips tasting of blood and redemption. Together we'll rewrite our story. And so the butcher and the blackbird danced on the precipice of love and ruin, their souls entwined in a deadly waltz. Shadows whispered secrets and the moon bore witness to their twisted romance. In the heart of darkness they sought redemption, a love that defied death itself. Shadows of Obsidian is a fictional adaptation inspired by Butcher and Blackbird, the Ruinous Love Trilogy. All characters and events are products of imagination.